Well, I was going to make a video before Matt started mowing, but he's mowing, so if you hear the lawnmower, sorry about that, but it's got to be done. Okay, I just wanted to do a Whole30 update. I am actually on day 61, except the only thing that I've changed, I've, I'm still eating all Whole30 foods, no sugars. I did go through the reintroduction period, and I did find out that I can't have dairy I can have hard cheeses, aged cheeses like cheddar and um, Parmesan because there's very little lactose in those because of the aging process, but I can't have stuff like sour cream, <laughs> which hurts because I love sour cream. I can't have uh, grains for sure. Oh Lord, that was a whole, I ate a piece of pizza. Ugh. Oh, it was bad. It was really bad. I mean, the pizza tasted good, but yeah not going back to grains ever so um and i've done some non grain um like gluten-free grains like i did corn chip corn tortilla chips from the mexican restaurant and one day they didn't really bother me but the next time i ate them they did so i don't think i ate very many of them the first time and i ate more of them the last the second time because i thought they didn't bother me so i ate more of them and they did so I'm staying away from grains. I'm still 100% eating Whole30, except I guess I can't call myself Whole30 because I am breaking one rule of Whole30, which is snacking. I am snacking, but let me show you what I'm snacking on. These come from Costco and they're called Country Archer and they're just like Slim Jims, except there's no sugar in them. The ingredients in these are pure and it's 100% grass-fed beef which is amazing yeah just one of these every once in a while I'm allowing myself a little snack also the Siete chips are amazing now this is the first time I've tried the lime flavor they're really good they'll whew, they'll put a pucker on you but they are really good I will say that the Siete chips are high in carbs so if you're watching your carbs you may not want to eat these but honestly to me to have a very fantastic tasting grain free chip is worth everything it, it's oh my gosh it is so nice because i am a snackaholic i've always been a snackaholic and i'm trying even though i've put snacking back into my daily routine or not all, I can't say daily routine because I don't snack every day, but I'm allowing myself to snack so I don't feel like I'm being deprived of anything, which is awesome. Um, still, almond butter. Make sure that the only ingredients is dry roasted almonds and that's it. You want all the oil to be natural because some will actually add like palm oils or bad oils and why do that because the nuts have enough oil in them. So yes, when I'm snacking now, I'm allowing myself some organic apples and some almond butter and that's a very good snack. Another thing that I love, I guess this is the Whole30 snack edition. But it's not really Whole30 because I don't want somebody to say it's not Whole30 if you're snacking. It's not. But if you're going to snack and you're trying to stay on a healthy diet, no matter what it's called, these are the snacks to eat. These are bomb. Now, I have never been a kettle chip person because they kind of hurt my teeth because they're so crunchy. But these are made with 100% avocado oil and so many potato chips are made with like canola oil and just these horribly processed oils that are not good for your body. People, seriously, it only takes a couple seconds to read ingredients. Look at the ingredients of everything that you buy and you'll start noticing all the hidden sugars and bad oils that you should avoid and stuff like that. So if you gotta have a chip, these kettle avocado oil Himalayan salt are so freaking good. Mm, they're so good. They really are. Anyway, at the end of Whole30, I had lost six pounds. I am now at the 10 pound mark. I have lost 10 pounds since I started. 
And granted, I'd probably be less than that if I were exercising more. We've had an extremely, extremely rainy winter. And actually it was nice this weekend, but we had things to do. Anyway, that's pretty much the gist of it. Basically, my diet is still going extremely well. I'm being very careful about what I eat. I don't feel deprived. I'm having a good time. The only thing is, she always has to squeak when I'm videoing. The only thing is, is there are three things that I really enjoy, like three naughty treats that I enjoy. When candy corn first comes out, I have to get a bag of candy corn and eat it. And during Easter time, I allow myself one bag of robin eggs and one bag of jelly beans. And this year, I can't have the jelly beans or the robin eggs because I don't want to put that junk back into my body. And that's the one thing that I'm like, oh, that sucks because I like my robin's eggs and I like my jelly beans. but. It's worth it to feel better, guys. I'm, I'm really feeling so much better. I still have not had a migraine. I've gotten a couple ice pick headaches. That happens. Sometimes a lot of that happens from eye strain or sometimes I'll get like a regular headache. I get tension headaches because my neck is messed up. But I have not had a migraine since I've started the Whole30 diet. Um, my digestive system has started sorting itself out a lot better. It took a lot longer to start getting sorted than I thought it would, but that's okay. I've, I've read on forums where it took some people 90 days of eating like this before their stomach started straightening themselves out because we do a lot of damage when we eat bad foods. And so your body has to undo the damage. And I am still keeping a daily diary of everything that I eat. And now instead of just doing breakfast, lunch, dinner, and what my symptoms are, whether they be good or bad, I put down good things too. Like, you know, um, I still, I've, I've only had, ever since I've started um, Whole30, I've only had two episodes of brain fog and they didn't last very long. So that is amazing in and of itself. I haven't had a um, depression funk like I normally do. And so that's good. So this diet is actually helping like my mental health but I have now started adding down at the bottom um, productivity and exercise. And now I add if I have a snack, what I'm eating. Oh, and I don't have any to show you, but I am, I do like to snack on the Epic Pork Rinds, Epic brand Pork Rinds, because they are amazing. And it's just um, pork skin and pork fat and salt and pepper. So unless you get like the barbecue and the barbecue doesn't have sugar in it so they're still good to eat so yeah i need to actually write down my lunch because we were out so i haven't written down anything i mean i had lunch here i just haven't written it down sometimes i wait till the end of the day to write stuff down uh, and sometimes if i know exactly what i'm going to eat i just go ahead in the morning time when i have my breakfast and write everything that i've eaten down and then i write down my exercise like what steps i got in or or what i did like if i clean the house that burns calories and it's good cardio so if i'm cleaning and vacuuming and sweeping and mopping and stuff like that i write all that down because that really does count so hey if you're a housewife or a house husband and you're thinking oh i haven't been able to get to the gym or i haven't been able to go out and walk and i haven't got my steps if you're cleaning the house you are burning calories even cooking and meal prep burns calories just get off the couch and do something so um so give yourself more credit so that's I just wanted to give you um, a, a heads up of what's going on. And I know that my Whole30 videos do not appeal to many people, but I really just wanted to journey this so that not only you could see what it's like to go through Whole30, but you could see if there are benefits or not. And there are benefits to it. Absolutely, there are benefits. And um, uh, I have a recipe I, I want to make for you guys. I tried it out myself first to see if it was any good so I think next time I'm going to film it but they are for um banana muffins muffins with their almond meal so they're not whole 30 because whole 30 you're not allowed to mimic foods like pancakes and muffins and like naughty foods but they are paleo so there you have it so I'm doing good 
And so, hey, let me know if you're on a health journey down below. And I really appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me. And we have got some good things coming up this year. And I'm so excited because this year is going to be better than last year was. For sure. We got some stuff coming up. So I am happy, happy, happy. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Go out there and unlock your own adventure, whether it be at home or outside of the house. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.